Bonjour, je m'appelle Michel. And welcome back to another episode of Unite with Food and Play. Okay, so today's dish, guys, is a French dish. And uh, we're going to be doing crepes. Okay, tasty crepes. A bit like pancakes, tomato pancakes, and you know, put loads of tasty treats and stuff on top of them, dead nice. But yeah, crepes, um, especially popular throughout France, usually contain milk, butter, a pinch of salt, flour, and then usually one or two like sweet ingredients on top. But yeah, I'm going to show you a recipe today, uh, dead simple to do. Uh, so crepes for one, guys, one or two crepes for yourselves. Let's crack on. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, guys, is get a bit of olive oil in the pan, okay? Like so. Get yourself a good pan, something that's not going to stick, okay? Uh, I've had loads of bad pans, you know, they just tend to wear out, and then that'll spoil your crepes. You need movement in the pan, let me tell you. Right. So, not too hot, guys. Uh, mine's going to be like a mid-temperature, whilst I... You know, get all the ingredients together. So, number five, don't need the scales. Right, dead simple. So, I went online and um, was just looking at all these recipes for crepes, dead easy to do. And um, I think I looked at this one, it was like six eggs to eight eggs. I was thinking, God, how many crepes is that? It's like 25 plus eggs. So, this one today, like I said to you, is crepes for one. So, you, you know, you're lucky you get one, you know, lucky you get two crepes out of it. You know, you might get three little ones, depending on the size of your pan and stuff. But, yeah, this is crepes one, guys. So, first thing we're going to do is one and a half tablespoons of milk. So, I'm using full fat milk. And, you know, try it with almond milk if you want. One and a half. That's good. Yeah, you can use almond milk if you want to. There's some people don't like milk and stuff, do they? I hardly drink milk, to be fair, but, you know. Right, one tablespoon of sugar. Where's the sugar? Sugar's over here. <coughs> uh, one tablespoon of sugar. I'm not gonna do a tablespoon, because you know, I don't want a tablespoon of sugar, so I do half a tablespoon. Here we go. Next, one egg. One egg. Two tablespoons of flour. Now, you know, got to dry up the spoon again. So oil's still heating up on there nicely, guys. Nothing too much. I tend to like heat all my oil up, get all the pan nice and greasy, and then tip my oil away. I don't know why. It's just something I've always done. Strange, I know. Right, so there's three ingredients. Next one, two tablespoons of flour. Now, is that a tablespoon? No, it's not a tablespoon, so increase that a little bit. To me, that's a tablespoon. Two of these. And then a dash of vanilla extract. What's a dash? We'll, go, we'll say cap. Strong stuff, this. Every time I do a dash, it tends to be half a bottle, so, you know, lessons learned, guys. So, whisk. I don't have a whisk. Better. Don't need one. Use my fork. Now, get whisking, guys. You'll find, obviously, I'm a bit lumpy and stuff at the start, um, you know, with all your flour and stuff mixing in. See how you get on. Uh, we know if, it, if the mix is too, you know, if the mix is super thick, then we know we just need a little bit more milk, just a dash of milk. So keep whisking all this together, guys, nice and simple, to get a nice smooth texture. Hoil's eating up on the plan. And I'll be back with you shortly. So here we are, guys, mix is nice and ready. Just been stirring it, giving it a really good stir, getting the air bubbles going. So like I said, this recipe's for one. You might get two crepes. Depending on how big your pan is, you might only get one crepe. 
I'm just going to do one crap, I think. That's plenty. Here we go. Pan's at a nice heat. Greased up. Not too much oil. Here we go. We're not just call these pancakes. <clears throat> I also think in this recipe, uh, so this is the recipe I found, uh, I'm pretty sure you're meant to have a pinch of salt in your crepes or something. I mean, you know, you don't have to, it's entirely up to you. I don't, um, I've got into the habit of not throwing salt on anything. And I, I know some people like to put salt on the dinner and stuff, and I've never put salt on things, just, just the way I am. So I think adding salt or something into, you know, something sweet for me, just, I don't want to. So, get yourself a good spatula, not one that's worn down like mine. I need to get a new one, I think. So, yeah, pour your crepe batter slash mixture into a pan, guys. Um, heat. So heat it up so obviously it won't burn. Uh, the trick is to get it nice and golden, okay? Not burnt, golden. And then the trick will be flipping it. Now, I believe I can flip. Okay, look at the movement on that. Fantastic, isn't it? I know, I know. I'm gonna give it one more minute and I'm gonna try and flip it for you guys. And what am I having on my crepe? Well, it's entirely up to you. Anything sweet, uh, not cheese, because that would be like one of them stoke pancakes, what they call oat cakes. They put, I find that weird, you know, they put, they put um, like cheese and tomato around pancakes and obviously it becomes an oat cake, like a savoury pancake. But uh, yeah, back to subject. Uh, I think I'm going to have banana, not full banana, just half a banana. Uh, I might have some jam with it, I might have some blueberries, got some blueberries in the fridge. Uh, I might have a drizzle of honey, some peanut butter. Now I'll have some jam. I'll have some jam. Well, what we got? <clears throat> yeah, let's do it. Strawberry raspberry conserve. Right. Don't, don't think I can flip it. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not letting me flip. But what? That's a good sign. I can look at all the movements I've got. Dead simple. Wonderful. Great mixture, this guy's. Dead easy. Simple instructions to follow. Nothing too hard. The trick is to making crepes, I'd say, would be get yourself a good pan. Okay? Your pan's good, your spatula is okay, it's not a problem, you've got all the movement. Pan. The secret is in the pan, guys. So, aiming for golden brown, I'm going to chop up my banana. Thought I more might throw a bit of uh, a bit of cinnamon or a bit of nutmeg on it, but I think banana and raspberry jam's enough, don't you? Right, so I've got the banana. That look amazing. Wonderful. So I like to stir my jam, don't ask me why. I think sometimes when you get jam, it's dead lumpy and you can't spread it on toast and stuff. So if you give it a mix, it's all nice and gooey. Dead easy to spread, love it, love it. I know you probably think I'm weirdo, but I love it. Jam's on. So. Let me think, what's the... Well, it's going to get messy now. <laughs> there we go. 
Right, how are we going to put this on? I think it's going to be something like this. But yeah, good thing about Krebs guys, customise it how you want it. I think I told you I wanted peanut butter and banana on mine. It's the best. It's the best uh, best duo, guys. Love it. But uh, yeah, I've gone for something a little bit sweeter. i uh, gone for banana and some raspberry conserved jam. Okay. And that's it, guys. And that's it. Dead simple. There we are. It's missing a little bit of cinnamon or something to sprinkle on the top. Something like bits of. Well, we won't pull that on because uh, I nearly pulled out some uh, cumin part of it. Because to me that looks like cinnamon. But yeah, I'll try and sprinkle up some cinnamon if we can find it. Oh, there we go, got some. You know, make you look fancy. Blah blah blah. You could, put, you could put a little bit of Greek yogurt there or something. You could chop it in half, make it look whatever. But yeah, um, French crepes, guys. Super easy. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll take a picture for the finished product, and I'll see you all soon.